Hello, hello everyone! Welcome to another Fallout 76 video and today we're going to do the first repeatable mission from Biv to get a new drink recipe. As you probably know, the brewing and the styling systems are out for some days now and I have just posted the first guide on how to learn the crafting station as well as the fermenter if you wish to learn check it out i am posting the link just about there and today we're going to do the first repeatable or daily mission which will supposedly grant us a new drink recipe so all you have to do is head to where biff is and talk to him then after a little bit he will give you the new daily mission now as far as i know they are always different so it will never be the same and the rewards are also random which means you can get any recipe uh, that they have available right now so i'm going to do this and then i will show you how to craft the drink that we will learn I think it makes everything much easier and simple. But first things first, so today's mission asks me to drink a fresh vodka and then test uh, my skills, something like. And here's how can you make a vodka from the brewing crafting station. You need boiled water, glowing resin, a razor grain, and wood. So the first and the last are quite easy to get. And you don't really need locations, but for the other two, you will need it. Let's start with the resin. So around the white spring, you can find a decent amount of glowing resin. Uh, you can teleport here to the white spring bunker. And around the white spring walls, you can check the trees. And you will often find a resin on them. But make sure to check both sides of the trees because sometimes they are on the opposite side you are walking and you might miss it. So make sure to check the two sides of the trees or you might miss it. And you might also encounter this bugged uh, resin which doesn't let you uh, pick up the resin. It's there, you can click but nothing happens. So that's also that. But around this area, there are around four or five trees with resin normally. So if you need more, you can just log out and come in another server and you should be fine. Now for the razor grain, I usually go to this location in the north called Aaron's Held Homestead. You probably know it by now from other videos I've made. And the razor grain is at the uh, very end of the farm to the right side of the three silos if you are coming from the south if you are coming from the north then it's at the left side and depending on the daytime you will easily or not so easily find the razor grain in the middle of the grass because they blend quite nicely and they are not so easy to spot but there's plenty of razor grain in this place so make sure to pick it up also to craft other drinks it's very useful uh, i have them planted in my camp right now so it's totally up to you what to do with it and then you need to gather some wood and dirty water to boil and turn it into boiled water. Once you have all the four ingredients, you can head to a brewing station and craft the fermented vodka. Then you should drink it. Now, I already had four in my stash, so I just skipped the, this step and I drank my vodka. And then it asked me to eat spoiled food. I had plenty of spoiled veggies and meat in my inventory, so I went ahead and ate one of them. And as soon as I did, I got a mission update to return to Biv. So go back to the tattoo parlor and engage Biv. And that's pretty much it. You just need to wait him to talk a little bit and then the mission will be completed and you will get your rewards, which is very, very nice. And as expected, you will get a random drink recipe and I will let you know how can you craft the one I just received. 
It is a very interesting one, and I also did some tests to check the path. And it's called Tick Blood Tequila Margarita. That's the recipe I got, and Beef also gave me a vintage Tick Blood Tequila, which is one of the main ingredients to craft it. And I'm not sure how to craft it right now, it's probably another recipe, but that's what we have right now. So, first you need to learn the recipe, and then you can head to a station to check what you need to craft it. And as you can see, I need corp seed juice, salt, and the tequila that Biv just gave me as an award. Now, the, f uh, the last one we cannot craft anymore because I don't have the recipe so far, but the first two we can get. So, let's get into it to craft at least one of these new recipe I have just learned and the curious thing is that you will receive three when you craft one but before anything else let's check how to get the so famous curb seeds now you can get them from an event called dead blossoms it's not a very common one but if you do a few server jumps you will eventually find it like I did and this is a very tedious event because uh, it takes a while to do it and there's hardly any action to it. The goal is to protect these uh, corpse flowers. There are a few of them in the same spot, basically, as you can see. There are some more ahead. And after readying yourself for the mission, you will need to defend them for eight minutes and uh, trust me you will hardly have to do a thing so every now and then you will see a rat or a wolf or a scorched but they are very very little in numbers normally one or two comes at a time and you can basically one shot everything so all you have to do is stay here wait until the mission is done and then you will receive your awards and one of them will be Corp Seeds, which is exactly what we need. Time to get some salt. Now you can get salt from many different locations as you travel, explore, or simply clear some places. But in these two particular places, you will always find salt. In here, you can find this one a flask of salt as well as pepper, meat and other instant meals. It's a very handy place for food. And the second one I have for you is at the White Powder Winter Sports and in here you can normally find two salt flasks. And the first one is in this table here to my right together with the pepper. And the second flask is here at this counter, near this machine. And then you can find a lot of foods and hot dogs and sugar as well, spices. It's a great place for food as well, but we don't need anything else. Now, if you want more salt, you might do the server jumping thing as you well know it. Once you have salt and the corp seeds, it's time to head to your camp and start boiling some water if you don't have any. In my case, I had very few, so I boiled some. And then you can craft the corpse seed juice as well. Don't forget that you need three for each craft of the recipe. And then you can head to your brewing crafting station to create at least one thick blood tequila margarita. And don't forget, one craft equals three tequilas. And I would craft more if I could, but I really don't have the recipe for the base tequila, so maybe a next time. Anyhow, I decided to test this drink because it says melee attacks restore health, but you might get new diseases. So let's do some testing to see how this actually works. You will need a melee weapon and some nice areas with a decent amount of enemies. Not too many though, you don't want to die. And I started with the disease already, so I kept track of it. And then I headed to this location near my camp and I started killing these ghouls. 
And as you can see, I'm letting them hit me and I get the HP back with just one single hit. So this drink is quite powerful. So as you can see, the HP gain or restoration is quite high. But I was not satisfied with this testing because they give me so much radiation. It's a bit difficult to see the exact precision of the HP regeneration. So I headed to another location to do another test. I headed to the Blackwater Mine, which is also near my camp, after clearing all the radiation on me. And I started testing on these mole rats. And things became much better because they don't give me radiation and they actually hit hard as well. And as you can see, one of my hits is way more restoration than the damage they deal to me. The only downside to this drink is that it lasts very, very little. The fill duration is 2 minutes, so you need to bake the best you can out of it after you just consumed. Otherwise, I think it's a quite strong drink, because I'm basically immortal as long as I have things to hit. And the infection rates don't seem to be that high, because I didn't contract any new disease or sickness in the meantime. So I, I suppose the information is there to let you know, but the chances to get sick are not that significant at least. And that's going to be all for today's video. As some people suggested or requested to uh, feature some of these new recipes in my next videos, here it is the first one. I will post a few more in the upcoming days, so stay tuned. And as usual, if you like the content, please don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment below. I am Marta Branku. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye. What? <laughs>